Hi everyone, it's Donna. Welcome back to my channel. I am here to show you a trick of the trade today. Don't waste your money. So if you're selling on any of the platforms, the reselling platforms, chances are you are going through loads and loads of tape like I am. And this is what I'm going to show you today. This is the inside of a tape roller. And what I do is I remove the last of the tape and I save these. I save these because I'm going to show you what I do with them. Don't throw them away. This is money, guys. This is money and this makes for really great shipping. So here is one of the items that I would definitely ship with one of those. And I'm going to show you how I'm going to do it. This is just a little box. It says Made in Italy on it and it's very beautiful. It's got those orange blossoms on it. And let me show you how I'm gonna ship it in that container. The first thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to just put a little bit of newspaper inside of it. Just like that. Then I'm going to take my tissue that all my rolls are on. So hold on one second while we do a quick Houdini. No, it's not gonna work. And on the floor they go as they roll away. Okay, <clears throat> here we go. I am going to take the little box and I'm going to give it a couple of rolls and then I'm gonna put the lid back on it. And I'm going to go up. And wrap it in tissue. Then I'm going to stick this right in here. Now, during the holidays, I shipped quite a few Christmas ornaments this way. And they arrived safely. Now you could put a little bit of bubble wrap on this if you wanted to as well, but you really don't need to because these are, these are solid and what better way to protect a breakable than something like that. So that's my one purpose that I use these for. Saves on bubble wrap keeps them out of the landfill and I hope that you resellers will save these and reuse them when you do sell the little items that you buy from me. So yeah, it's a great idea. It works fantastic. All right, let me show you another truck. Okay, here I have taken seven of them and I have just put them all one right next to the other and I'm gonna tape these together. And let me show you how I do that. I'll just go right down the tube. I'll just give it some tape on that side and I'm gonna do it again on this side. I tuck a little bit inside of it. Make sure it's in there. That didn't quite reach the bottom, but that's okay. Because after I'm done taping them like that, I'm gonna take my tape and I'm gonna go just around the two to make sure that they stay together. And you probably can guess what I'm making. it. We have a nice, strong, extra thick tube. 
So if you're shipping a piece of ephemera and it's only three inches or six inches or seven inches, you can make your own custom tubes. You don't have to buy tubes and cut them down. And these are free. We just throw these in the trash, right? Don't waste your money. So I have Bill of the Play, Railroad of Parade. It's a some sort of uh, leaflet from the New York World's Fair from 1940. And you're just going to roll this up, put it in the tube, will not get damaged. Sometimes I will uh, sell big lots of ephemera and I'll ship them, oh, let's do it this way, I'll lay them flat and ship them flat, but every once in a while I'll sell one piece and look at that, that's in there, it'll be nice and safe and then I'll take a couple of pieces of tissue. And I will make it into a square. Put that over the top. Just like that. Keep it protected. Now most of you know I wrap my things in plastic and I'll show you that as well. Let's fold another piece. Put it on this end. Secure that down. Keep that nice and safe in there. So these are uh, three ply contractor grade trash bags that I buy and I cut to size. And for those of you that come to my channel and buy from me, you know that I wrap everything in plastic. And I do that as an extra precaution, not just for me, but for you also, because if something happens to the package and it gets left out by a gutter or if it gets left out in the snow and the rain, it's protected. I'm not Amazon, so I can't just replace things. <clears throat> so I take the added step of wrapping everything in plastic. Yes, it's an added expense and yes, it takes more time to do it, but for me, it's worth it because I have the assurance that um, the items will be protected from the elements. And even my UPS driver said to me one day, you should give lessons on how to ship because on rainy days, he has to wrap his packages, put them in uh, plastic bags, and he never has to worry about my packages because my packages are always wrapped. And that's it, folks. It's nice and safe in that tube. And sometimes I'll just add a little bit of extra. I'm a little bit tape crazy. I don't have a link for my tape right now. I'm struggling with finding the tape source that I had. Their prices went skyrocketing. So I'm trying out some new companies. And when I find one that I'm happy with, I will give you the link to it. Right now, I'm still not 100% happy. And there you have it, guys. Look at that. And that all is from cardboard inserts that are inside your tape after you use it. And don't waste your money, you guys. No need to buy 
tubes and you save money on bubble wrap as well. I hope this little idea of mine helped you and please be sure to subscribe and to give the video a thumbs up. And if you're not um, coming to my daily auctions, please do. I go live almost every day, mostly in the evening hours. You'll find me live on my channel selling items that have been purchased from estate sales and defaulted storage units. And uh, you never know what I'm going to bring. All right, guys, have a great day and be sure to subscribe and I'll talk to you soon. See you live.